The rich and diverse variety of life on Earth, in all its forms, is the foundation of our well-being, providing food, clean water, air, and much of our energy. Biodiversity and nature's contributions to people are at the heart of not only our survival, however, but also of our cultures, identities, and enjoyment of life. Despite its critical importance, biodiversity continues to decline in every region of the world, endangering economies, livelihoods, food, water and energy security, and the quality of life of people everywhere. The Intergovernmental Science Policy Platform on Biodiversity and Ecosystem Services, IPBES, recently published four landmark regional assessment reports, one each for the Americas, Africa, Europe and Central Asia, and Asia and the Pacific. The result of three years of work by more than 550 leading experts from over 100 countries, the four IPBES reports are the most important expert contribution of the past decade to the state of knowledge about biodiversity and nature's contributions to people. The reports focus on answers to key questions about the importance of biodiversity, progress being made to conserve it, and the threats and opportunities for a sustainable future. With the best available information communicated effectively, people all over the world can make better decisions and take more effective action to meet global commitments such as the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals, the Aichi Biodiversity Targets, and the Paris Agreement on Climate Change. Across Europe and Central Asia, nature contributes to economies and human health through the provision of food, medicine, and improved mental and physical well-being. There is, however, a continuing decline in biodiversity and nature's contributions to people. Wetlands have declined by 50% since 1970, with significant degradation of grasslands, peatlands, and coastal marine habitats as well. The IPBES report reveals that the region's ecosystems face several challenges with regards to species diversity, with 28% of assessed species unique to the region currently classified as threatened. The status of biodiversity across the region has been declining in 14 out of 15 land-based habitat types since the 1950s and continues to do so. While in the European Union, 27% of marine species and 66% of marine habitat types show an unfavorable conservation status. Intensifying agriculture and forestry, combined with natural resource extraction, urban development, pollution, invasive alien species and climate change have also led to a decline in biodiversity and an increasing loss of indigenous and local knowledge. There has been some progress in increasing protected areas and mainstreaming biodiversity across governments and societies. However, current trends are unfavorable for the achievement of the Sustainable Development Goals, the Aichi targets and climate commitments in the region. The IPBES report highlights the better use of policy and integrated approaches to motivate changes in behavior, as well as capacity building for indigenous peoples and local communities, and sufficient funding to support research, monitoring, education, and training. The message from all four IPBES regional assessment reports is that with the exception of some positive examples, biodiversity and nature's capacity to contribute to people are being degraded, reduced, and lost due to a number of common pressures, including habitat stress, the over-exploitation and unsustainable use of natural resources, air, land, and water pollution, increasing numbers and impacts of invasive alien species, as well as climate change, among others. The best available evidence, gathered by the world's leading experts, points us now to a single conclusion. We must act to halt and reverse the unsustainable use of nature, or risk not only the future we want, but even the lives we currently lead. 
Fortunately, the evidence also shows that we know how to protect and partially restore our vital natural assets. IPBES, science and policy for people and nature.